This is gonna piss some people off. Start off, I'm not canceling any of these shows that I'm bringing up. I am just trying to have a constructive, critical conversation about how these shows evolved in a sense, if, if that makes any sense. You know, in recent years, I've been playing a fun game where I'll watch shows that I liked as a teenager or even shows that I've just started to like in the past few years and see when they're gonna drop a slur. Now we all know the n-word has been a big, big taboo word for years, decades now. But other slurs haven't. Sure, the use of the three-letter f-word has been declining in the past how many years, but there's still one word that I still get, I still hear get thrown out every so often. And that's just a little six-letter word that begins with an R and ends with a D. Many shows from the 2000s to the mid 2010s excessively used this word as a punchline in reference to just saying stupid or idiotic. And I just, I just don't know why. So today I just wanna, I wanna glance over at some shows that have used this word regularly and just, just to figure out their purpose for using that word. Now, since I don't wanna really gloss over the use of the N word, um, I'm just gonna bring up two examples that are shows that I both find very entertaining and I enjoy that have uh, white people saying the N word hard R. First is that classic episode of South Park. You know the one where Randy's on Jeopardy. The Naggers episode. Now, this episode does bring up the idea of like, well, of course uh, N word's gonna get banned if it's against white guys, but still pretty much every voice in there is a white person minus Token. And I don't think that guy, I don't think Token uses the N word. <laughs> It's just, I want to say that they did try to put some sort of subversion on this use of this word, but in, in 2007, it probably worked out fine. It was seemed liberal, uh, but nowadays it just seems as a, a joke at the expense of just the word. Another show that did this was uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David. I actually just discovered this show not even just a few months ago, but I find it hilarious. Until I got to this episode. <laughs> Oh boy. I love uncomfortable weird shit. I love Steve Brule, Tim and Eric, fucking Nathan for you, I think you should leave, all that type of stuff. But this episode, if you don't know, it just has Larry David overhearing a white guy say the n-word at hard r as just an insult of just like, oh, this stupid blank. I don't even know if the person was black, if he was, who he was referring to. But Larry David just repeats what he heard as a black doctor comes by and hilarity ensues. The problem I just have with this episode is that it's just the repetitive use of the n-word by white people is, it just really, it makes me uncomfortable, it makes me cringe a little bit. So that's all for the n-word I at least have in my recent memory. I don't want to dwell on it as much because we should all know, don't fucking say it. It's that easy. Now for the meat and potatoes of the video, the Arsler. All of these programs that I bring up in this section, I do enjoy. I think they have comedic value, entertainment, creative value. It's just I want to bring awareness to this. I want to just bring it up. You don't have to be mad, but you don't have to hide your past. It's just say that it happened and hope to do better. So let's start off with a show we already mentioned, South Park. I watched South Park when I was in sixth grade. I was like 12. I started watching it. I stopped watching it a few years ago regularly, and when I came back to it once it got on HBO Max, I just noticed how many Arslers are just thrown around willy-nilly as a replacement for stupid or dumb. And it's, you can say this is back when it was the 90s and early 2000s. This carried over even until as late as 2015, where they tried to flip it on its head where Jimmy, the physically handicapped person, uses it in his paper and the PC principal doesn't like it. It's a sense of trying to be subversion like with the n-word joke back with jeopardy but it just i don't know something about it rubs me the wrong way another show is rick and morty now the fan base rick and morty is very dedicated and loyal but there is just some uses of it where i don't find it necessary where rick will say it as a sense of just looking down on people because he's superior which i guess is his character but he's the smartest man in the world but sure he's a fucking nihilist it's unnecessary next show eric andre show i adore this show I love absurd comedy and surrealism, but there's one joke in there that it's a funny joke, but god damn is it offensive nowadays. We all know the joke with Wiz Khalifa. Me and my friends used to feed LSD to this little girl in our neighborhood, yeah. and we'd lock arms around her and go, nightmare, 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 nightmare. You can't do that. It actually cured her. Oh. 
Yeah, that one. That's the only time I've heard it used in the Eric Andre show, so it's not prevalent, but it is still a joke that was used. Keeping on the Eric Andre train, we transferred a bad trip, which came out just as recent as last year, having one line where he's like, oh, do you remember me? I'm Crazy Chris. Who? And then Chris. It's hard because it's only a one use of it, purely because that's what it was back when they were in high school. But is it necessary to say it? And I still want to reiterate, I enjoy all these things I'm talking about. The last show I want to bring up is the HBO show Veep, which is a great political satire. I think everyone should watch it just to see how, how fucked up our political discourse can be sometimes. There's constant use of the arsenal in the pilot alone where one of the jokes is where she's trapped in this Arsler gate where she said it at a national convention with delegates. This carries on over into subsequent seasons as far as I want to say the season six or seven, one of the last few seasons where they just have a whole scene where one dude just berates Jonah Ryan and calls him the Arsler. I mean, is it necessary? Not really. One tidbit, I just noticed, I feel like every HBO show has a use of the Arsler that I've seen. I feel like it might be a requirement or something, I don't know. And the last piece of media I want to talk about may come as a shock to some of you. This film came out in 2004, rated PG, and met with worldwide acclaim and financial success. I'm of course talking about the nice little indie comedy, Napoleon Dynamite. Now, you might be thinking, Napoleon Dynamite? That's a kid's movie. Yeah, it is, except for one scene. Napoleon, his uncle, and Skip are just sitting on a couch talking, and then Napoleon just gets up and says, you guys are so out of nowhere. And it's almost jarring to look at, but I just don't, it just, to me, it signifies the prevalence of this word in the common lexicon throughout that time, where you could throw the R slur into any shot, into a PG movie, and it'd still fly under the radar. One show I do want to bring up, though, is uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Now, this show is known to just be offensive, edgy, and just chaos. I mean, it's got Danny DeVito in it, it's chaos. But the way they present it is from the context and irony that these are the worst people in the world, and why are they doing this? I bring this up because during multiple instances in the first few seasons, the R slur is casually thrown around. Early, mid 2000s stuff, that's what every show was doing. But as the seasons went on, they, they transferred, they stopped using those words, and would make fun of the past selves for using them. They would have a meta commentary and make fun of how they used to talk, and then replay old jokes almost in a new context where they're saying mentally handicapped or mentally disabled and then have a deja vu moment. I want to bring this up to show that shows can change and make fun of their past while still recognizing it. We don't have to be like South Park and have five episodes taken off of HBO Max. You don't have to hide these, it's just acknowledge it and say, yeah, this was wrong, but we've changed now. And that's the main thing, as long as people can change, like, oh. <laughs>